today I thought we would talk about how to buy baby chicks and specifically how to buy them in person at your local feed store. The first thing and the most important is to research how to care for chickens. Where do they live? What do they eat? How much um, care do the baby chickens take? How much care do adult chickens take? Uh, there's a lot of responsibility involved. The next thing you have to do is find a place to buy them and usually that's at a local feed store. Um, usually kind of in smaller towns you will find these more commonly. Uh, mine happens to be a tractor supply company. Yours might be a little different. Um, a feed store is just aimed at kind of farmers. So you'll have gardening supplies as well as supplies for caring for animals like chickens, rabbits, dogs, cats, cows, uh, anything you can imagine. Then you need to call your store and ask them what day of the week they get in their shipment of baby chicks. Mine happens to be Wednesdays and they don't start selling them until Wednesday around 11 a.m. when they get their entire stock of different breeds in. So sometimes you can find them on a Thursday or Friday, but those are the ones left from Wednesday. So don't assume that if you go any day of the week that they're always gonna have baby chicks. The other thing you need to do is a little bit of research on breeds. Um, not every store is gonna carry every breed, um, but they do have four or five usually. And if you get a yellow fluffy baby chick, that turns in usually to a white chicken or a pale yellow chicken. And then they have brown chickens, they have Polish chickens that have poofy feathers on their heads, they have Java chickens and Bantam chickens, there's all sorts of varieties of black and white chickens, chickens with speckles, blue ones, kind of green feathered ones, there's a large variety out there. Most people wanting backyard chickens are wanting hens for eggs. Uh, make sure that you're getting girl chickens. When you go to the store, the person there will help you um, tell which ones are girls or boys. Usually they're pretty clearly labeled. And some areas of town will not allow you to have a rooster. So if you're wanting rooster for meat or whatever, or you accidentally get one, uh, make sure that you're allowed to keep roosters since they can be kind of noisy uh, right at dawn. My store requires that you get a minimum of four chickens. So if you think you're gonna go in and buy just one single hen, it's not always allowed, and it's often not really very good for the bird. Chickens are social animals. They like to have um, a little family with them just for personality and safety and warmth. Um, they really need to have some sisters with them. How much do baby chicks cost? It depends where you get them and on the breed, but usually they're about $3 per chicken um, for the babies. Uh, then you have to remember that you do need food and some containers for the food. You need a heat lamp because they will die if you do not have a heat lamp on them uh, the first month to two months that they are alive. Buy a heat lamp. So chickens cannot regulate their own body temperature and baby chicks need to be at 95 degrees. Your house is around 70 degrees, so that is a big difference. Um, you can get kits that come with a heat lamp and the feeding containers, which is what I did, um, but I never actually used that heat lamp because they can be kind of fire hazards if you're not careful. I went ahead and got a heating plate, and you can get these from your feed store or from Amazon. A normal heat lamp that's kind of red light bulb type thing um, are about $10, so they're not expensive, but you do need to be careful because you have uh, like sawdust shavings and sometimes cardboard boxes and things, so just be really careful. These brooder heating plates give you peace of mind at night that you're not going to have your house catch on fire, so well worth it. You will need to buy a home for the chicks to stay in for the first couple months that they're alive. They can't just go straight outside into the chicken coop because they need safety and warmth that just can't happen outside. So you can get these giant kind of metal wash tubs, feeding tubs. They can be expensive if you're not doing this a lot. So you can also get um, large dog crates or rabbit hutches something where you have space for your chickens. They need a one foot per chicken, and then you also have to have space for their food and water. They need access to food and water 24 hours a day. 
and then that heat lamp has to be on there as well. So you can get away with using really large plastic storage bins, but cardboard boxes and heat lamps don't mix that well. Now for two months your chickens are going to be in their little home that you bought, but eventually you're going to go outside and you might need chicken wire, chicken netting, um, some sort of mesh fencing to keep them in because even if you have a fence in your backyard, there are gaps that chickens can fit through or animals that eat chickens can fit through. When your chickens are about two months old, they're going to need to go outside into a chicken coop and these are not cheap. So if you don't already have one or know somebody who's handy at building them, that's something you need to start planning ahead for. Sometimes you can find used chicken coops online. Um, so check um, Craigslist, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, places like that, or consider building your own. I might make a video in the future on what is the difference between a doghouse and a chicken coop. And finally, take your babies home. Uh, they come in their own box, so if you're worried about how to transport them in your car to your house, they should be fine in this box, um, as long as it's not a long car ride, and if it is, then you might need to bring a heating pad or something to keep them warm. They will start chirping a lot when they get cold, so um, don't take them out and handle them too much for too long because even your body heat um, often is not enough for them. So they really need that heating lamp, and if they're huddled together crying a lot, that means um, they're in distress. So here are some uh, shots of my baby chickens. I got four. I got a Polish one that has poofy feathers on her head. I got a brown one, which is a bantam. Um, then I got two more that are a mix of black and white, uh, a Java chicken. And the last one, I can't remember the breed. I think it is a Wellington chicken. I'm not sure. If you like this, how to start raising backyard chickens, uh, leave me some comments below on other questions you might have. I have a lot of videos and a lot of adorable photos uh, to share with you. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.